Welcome to the another video of Cricket Tales. Six feet two inches, Christopher Lewis was born on 14 February 1968 in Georgetown. He was an English former cricketer who played for Nottinghamshire, Surrey, and Leicestershire in the 1990s. Chris Lewis was the eighth British cricketer born in the West Indies to play for England. Chris Lewis was regarded as an aggressive player order batsman, fine fast medium bowler, and an able all rounder fielder. He was regarded as a colorful player of the game who never quite lived up to his early potential. He was later convicted of drug smuggling. Chris Lewis was labeled the Pratt without a hat by the Sun after he was forced off the field with sunstroke having shaved his head and not worn any protection during the first match of England tour of the West Indies in 1994. His fast medium seamers were propelled by an athletic high action. His batting was full of exclusive onside drives and fire skirts and his fielding could be sensational. But apart from some excellent bowling in the 1992 World Cup, he rarely delivered when England needed him most and his many critics got stuck in. He started at Leicestershire, then had spells at Nottinghamshire and Surrey, where he helped win the Sunday League in 1996 and Benson and Hedges in 1997 before returning to Grace Road. All the time he was in and out of the test side despite going on six consecutive tours and hitting a hundred in a lost cause at Madras in 1992-93. But Chris Lewis was never fully accepted by his peers and he was criticized further when in 1999 it emerged that he had passed on the names of three England characters alleged involved in match fixing to the ECB. Even though he drifted out of the game and unfulfilled talent, he returned to Surrey in 2008 at the age of 40 when he signed a surprise pay as you play contract for the 2020 cup but it did not prove as successful as injury brought it to an early end but he struggled out of the limelight and late in 2008 he was arrested at Gatwick airport and subsequently found guilty of smuggling cocaine into the country he was sentenced to 13 years in prison it was posed this highlights how difficult it can be for a player to cop once they stopped playing cricket, former teammate Angus Fraser reflected on his career. Chris Lewis was released in June 2015 after serving six years of his sentence at HMP High Down. Chris Lewis was an aggressive lower middle order batsman, a capable fast bowler, and an athletic fielder. He had everything it took to be a fine all-rounder. He made his debut in 1990 and apart from a few good outings in the 1992 World Cup, never delivered to his full potential and was was always seen as a waste of talent. His bad boy image did not help his cause either. Chris Lewis played 32 tests for England between 1990 and 1996 and he managed to took 93 wickets. He even scored a test century in a losing cause at Madras in 92-93. Chris Lewis struggled to maintain a decent image among his peers and was criticized further in 1999 when he claimed that three England cricketers were involved in match fixing but never proved those allegations that led to him being jeered by crowds and snubbed by peers and loss of form in the same period saw him fade away at just 32. Chris Lewis at the crease could remind one of the player of the best batsman of the Caribbean. That was very much in evidence in the incredible 117 he hit at Madras against a ramping Anil Kumble in 1993. In the same year he hit 247 for Nottinghamshire against Durham and the following year 220 not out against Warwickshire. Before that, in the World Cup, he had bowled his medium pace seamers with great effect and had destroyed the New Zealand batting line in the 1992 Auckland Test. He had all the making of champion all-rounder, one of many who had been hailed as the new Ian Botham, but one who actually seemed to possess the genuine potential. He ended with 1,107 runs at 23.02 average in test matches alongside 93 wickets at 37.52. The figures are Maddie Core, flat performances touched by a few staggering height in first class cricket, his 7,406 runs at 31 average and 543 wickets at 30 apiece spoke more than ability of his powers. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.